How, your welcome, anxiety level. Welcome, welcome to episode number forty-eight of the Optic Podcast. Your usual co-hosts, because there's no host, there's no, there's no I in leadership. Mm. Is there? No, there isn't. Holy, cr- oh, there is. Leadership. Yeah, there is. There's a ship. <laughs> anyway, so uh, courage, Dunlop, uh, the man, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, Owen fifteen brought him fifteen donuts for uh, he did. for that. He did. You grabbed my camera by accident instead of yours. No, I was getting you footage. You are the man. That's why. That's why he's the goat. Uh, Nick, thank you for joining us. Hey guys. Whoa, purple knees. You purple hit my knees. reflex right there. Oh my god. Guys, Nick has been hitting the gym so hard and doing legs every day. Look at his pants now. Uh, <laughs> and my knees are purple. Dad joke. Why are your knees purple? Hitch. Because I'm With so the dad pale. Hat, dad joke and obviously Optic Hacks. Um, we're not talking about Fortnite at all. This, not. This. That should be called the Hex Hat. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm with it. You I'm get 100%, it? 100%. Yeah. Because dad? Because he's. An o- he's the o- father. He's dad, o- father. OG father. Uh, OG so, father. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> OG father. Oh, OG father son. Or how's it go? Yeah, right? Like the. I don't know. The karate kid? <laughs> Thank you, senpai. I don't. I don't know I, what the ad is either. Where did that anime? come from? Thank you, senpai. Anime? Yeah. Nah. I've never I mean, watched a senpai. minute of anime in my life. Me neither. I, I haven't in, either. In Mexico, they Only play a lot of anime. No bullshit. Nope. And I remember this one thing. Mexican anime. Yeah, bro, it was the best. Why do you? Why do you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look at and Nick, and then Hitch is just staring at me with his beady blue eyes, just like. I see he acts with one eye by an edge, like. <laughs> Uh, if, uh, anyway, <laughs> if you need to get in touch with an eight shot, don't text him about what you need first. Text him first about anime. He'll instantly yeah. reply, and then you've got him looped in. I and remember you, you told me that. No it's bad. today. I texted Matt five no times, no response. <laughs> Maven every day still texted him about anime stuff. Yeah. Are you good? <laughs> he said no pits today. I went like this, and it just reminded me of the last podcast because I got roasted. <laughs> no, you didn't. I just pointed out that you were sweaty. Bro, you were a man. Not man. by. I got roasted by you and the chat. Everyone else. The, the comments But were you know me, brutal. I ain't bothered. Were they? Yeah, they're pretty brutal. How much sleep have you gotten in the last 24 hours? Uh, no. Zero. <clears throat> yeah, no. I can tell. The eyes? Yeah, they're like... They're like uh, you really you can tell. It's bad. I need some of the uh, eye drops. When you were, you need some of that sleep. Yeah, yeah. You get <laughs> it's natural. sleep. <laughs> when I, when I started true. to make eye contact with Nick, and you were like... All I saw was like this... <laughs> it's just looking at... Red ass I saw red... I saw red... <laughs> He looked like Mark. He looked like Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah, we've just. I Dude, we were just talking him. about that. Dude, he's a robot. <laughs> Do you think he's a robot? I let's, didn't let, see. let's start with this. All right, and I don't want to be like the thing. Why is that coffee in the middle of the Dude, floor? Dude, that just keeps. Just Where else am I gonna put? If I put it below my feet, I'll kick it. If I put it in the middle of the floor, I'll. It's You'll fine. remember, yeah. You need There's a no one else mess up. All right. Um, we were Jack and, and I coming it. back from the best taco spot that we found. Uh, what's the name of it? Mariana's, Mariana's taco, taco shop? shop on Fifth and Main Street in Frisco. Oh, Delicious. The, we only get the hot, the, the the fire, the the red sauce, but the green. Anyway, we're talking about um, uh, simulation. Whether, um, yeah. and whether or not like we life? believe, yeah, life life simulations. Whether or not we believe in that. <laughs> uh, and the reason that it popped up is because I've, I've driven down this this on Main Street and there's these silos. You know those white silos next to the train tracks? Yeah. There is a house on top of it. What? Now. There's what do you a mean? House on top of it. So there's silos, and then there's like this square, there's like windows and everything structure on top of it. He's saying that like someone built a, it's like it just appeared there overnight. He's never noticed it, so life's a simulation. I don't get that. I've just never seen just, it. I don't get it either. Seen it. I've driven <clears throat> through there like all the time, and I notice everything. Okay, let's put this in a different scenario. So you're we so- talked about <clears throat> alternate universes yesterday. Do you, like, do you believe in alternate universes? Yes. Alternate uh, universes. Like, do you believe like that there's more than another, one universe that, uh, that a, we are that we are one multiverse, drop, multiverse yeah. but alternate universe. Speak my lingo here. <laughs> <laughs> but or alternate universe in the way that like the decision that's made. Like for example, alternate universe. Today Hector was on time in a different universe. <laughs> Oh, God oh my God! But in this one, and then yesterday they showed up. Oh, oh got me. Um, uh, so, 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 for example, Championship Sunday of the most recent event. Like, it was like destined in that last universe that we would win. But then the way that we lost was like an alternate universe. Like we went to an alternate universe where they just could not clutch, and we wound up losing that in two best fives game ten. Pause. This is going to be a five second because this is an amazing conversation. Five second. <clears throat> Little interruption question: Is it weird to say "we" now when you talk about optic? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I've recorded my live reaction. It'll be uh, uh, uh and actually the the feeling of me going and turning off my camera at the end 
and that feeling of like loss. Yeah. Because we like heartbreak. I've never felt that in regards to a team, anybody, a, a, a team or a gaming thing. Because like I had, I didn't have that personal attachment. Because it, it was also compounded by the fact that gears, gears had lost earlier in the day. Yeah. And while I wasn't <clears throat> actively watching gears, I do like the gears team a lot. We obviously yeah. they're around here and stuff, and I know they're not used to losing. <laughs> That's why I immediately tweeted summons. I was like, I'm looking forward to them getting back and destroying everyone at the next event because you know those boys are about to have a fire lit on the exactly. Like, they're not. They're it's not even anything. Put last in time, last time they lost was when in Mexico last year when we dropped uh, when we traded lava. lava. Yeah, T one. You know the two gears tournaments that I haven't been to. The ones that you lo- that we lost. Last two years ago, Mexico. You didn't go. I didn't go, and then this past weekend I didn't go. Those are the yeah, only. They're, they're those are the only two. Hitch is the Hitch is the guy. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's weird. Maybe in an alternate universe it is. But anyway, go on. Continue. On. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was gonna continue way. with this, but I. No. So, yeah. Uh, go. Yeah, you back. But yeah, like, Elon Musk is talking about the whole simulation thing. Right. Like, for example, just to quickly give a brief <clears throat> yes. background for people, like, wh- the discussion of think of where we've gone technology-wise in the last hundred years. Right. We've gone from n- having nothing to now, like VR, where you can almost live an alternate life. What's to say now, <clears throat> a thousand years from now, with how far technology goes, that. It builds out a thing where literally the game is so in-depth that little Johnny, who's nine years old, can literally run a simulated universe, which is us, mm-hmm. and and we're just a part of his game where when he decides he wants to shut us off, he just c- clicks off and we're all gone. As in yeah. life, That's why people think of like life's a simulation. Like, what's yeah. te- right. And how can <laughs> I be the one to say, like, that's unrealistic because we literally went from not being able to fly to going to the moon in 50 years. Like, yeah. what's possible in another thousand years with how fast information and technology is I mean, you should just be able to look around and see nothing as realistic. Just, like, just this. Yeah. Just living on yeah, an Earth, exactly. a planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's why I think, like, regardless of... I think <clears throat> every... Almost every belief system is some sort of simulation, in my opinion. Like, I feel like at, at, there's something, and then that made this exist. And that is the simulated part. So what part. you're saying is that we are all living in Jesus Christ's simulation because he's the only one that's had the powers to to say on April Fool's, is like, I'm dead, haha, <laughs> psych, I'm not. <laughs> that's that's it. That was what kind said. of? Easter. Friendly fire. I, think I that's guess. What friendly, fire. Meant. friendly fire. So, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Like, even if, like, I believe, I guess, in the simulation thing, but, like, it could be... I believe that, yeah, I basically believe it, but it, it, it could literally be anything. I don't think it's Johnny five-year-old is playing a video game and we're no, all in it. I think it's a little bit more in-depth than that. It could definitely I'm sure be. it is. You think so? Yeah. That's the, that, you're, yeah. I think that, <laughs> that's why you're I think here. of the 12-year-olds who play The Sims. Like, imagine The Sims, but The Sims is so built out in a thousand years from yeah. now that it's just And we're all AI. Yeah, we're, we're all, we're all just, AI. We're, we are the ones with the green thing over their head going, I need to go to use the restroom. But, like, we're, but it's that's so advanced. That's actually how I feel. <laughs> Right now, you have to go to the bathroom. No, uh, but, but, like... your, but your guy is always AFK. <laughs> 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 so I just... <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's how... actually how I imagine Nick in his apartment. That's how I see him. When Nick's not no. here, he's just like the weirdest. The weirdest. I, I've caught everybody <clears throat> sleeping in weird positions at the scalp house. The weirdest is definitely him. Because I would walk in and he'd be late, completely laid like, out. I was like about this. to say it like this. Like this oh, in the middle yeah. of the night, like sleeping, but his legs are raised. And like that, I don't I know how that. I do that. I remember that. that too. In a figure four, and I'm like, how, how are you doing hitch with like a like a weird long body pillow strapped around his, his neck? Like remember that pillow that I threw out and then got you a new one when you first moved? Boys, <laughs> <on? laughs> <Yeah. laughs> don't bring oh that my shit up. God. Don't, let's, cut, let's talk You're about it. It wasn't a neck pillow. It was like a regular. pillow, It was a regular right? pillow. Oh, I'd man. had it since I was like two. <laughs> that shit was bro. disgusting. That yeah. thing had a thousand saliva stop, drips. Stop. That shit had a lot of dreams on it. Ew. Ew. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all thinking? <laughs> <laughs> we all <laughs> three. <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing yet. <laughs> Ew. Jack's like, ew. <laughs> ew. Nick was genuinely confused. He was like, what? Yeah. what? <laughs> um, wait, have you guys ever seen that YouTube channel, Cursageist or whatever? They do those animated things about like uh, interesting topics. Yes. Have you ever seen them? The mm. one this week was about time and what time, try to put time at respect it because like billions, to us, we can't even comprehend a billion years. Yeah, like, right. I can't even comprehend almost a thousand years. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this video, they do the past and then the future and what's to come. And like, a hundred billion years from now, like, the universe is going to be dead. Like, nothing will change. Nothing will happen. 
Dark holes will have died out because literally there will be nothing left. It will just be a dead universe. Like that, mm -hmm. to me, like we, we, there's no outlasting that, right? Like there, we know of our of our our demise. Like in a billion years or or whatever it is, like ten billion years or whatever they said. Like when the sun becomes a red giant, like all exist all existing in our solar system gone is gone. Yeah. There's no way you can survive no matter where you are in our solar system. Like we we need to get our shit together. <laughs> What, 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 like we gotta move. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, the thing is, is so party, party and, hard, and, buddy. And space is moving so fast apart still because of the Big Bang that it's still growing. That like, with the idea of if we haven't found life now, yeah, we will never come in contact with life because it's outpacing how fast we could catch up to that. Yeah. So imagine like, uh, wow. If, if, even if we had a vehicle of us going 120 miles an hour, and, going 300 and, miles and they were an going hour. 100 miles an hour. Yes, we're going 20 miles an hour faster, but yeah. you know how long that would take to even catch up. Catch up. Yeah. It would be like a trillion years, which is just unthinkable. It's not possible. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Well, that is wild. You know what I did watch? You've that researched that <laughs> way more than I have. Well, well no, you space just watched one video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, uh, what, guys what's, too. what's wild is that <clears throat> I, uh, one morning I woke up and I saw you and I don't know who else talking about uh, uh, Smosh, Smosh's like conspiracy theory. On the oh, uh, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson does his conspiracy videos. Wow, I was freaked well, out. I didn't. I don't. I don't think I, I heard so it. So I've never watched. I, I still didn't watch it, but Pamaj was. Pamaj and I were talking about it, and he does these conspiracy videos. That is like one of his most popular <laughs> series on his channel. I didn't even know that. And uh, I haven't heard the name Shane Dawson. Anymore. What's cr but what's crazy is I didn't either, and he's he's more successful now than ever before. Are you like, serious? He's done a great job of. Hitting those plateaus, adapting, con continue to grow. Like he's done exceptional for himself. He's got That's like crazy. ten million subscribers now. I'm not saying Bro, that. it's That's it's wild. legit. So yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the Malaysia flight, some some dude received a um, a voicemail, and it was in what was it? It was. It I didn't watch it. I was too scared. It. it was in a, in a different language, and people are are thinking that. The message that he received was a um, a Malaysia flight uh, box signal that he just happened to randomly receive, and in in it it said, uh, "Do not trust them; they are not human." Right? What does that mean? You're asking, Ooh. right? So then the the How pilot the that? pilot says um, <laughs> the, the pilot was really in in the initial conversation from the pilot to to the control room. He was saying it's like things at a certain pace and a certain like hitting you know like normal conversation. But when the second time he was saying, like when he was about to say, all right, we're, we're signing off for the night, good night, he said it, his voice changed, his, his, uh, his mannerisms changed, the way that he was speaking changed because they felt as though somebody was in the cockpit with them. The, the Malaysia flight completely disappeared, no one's found it. Uh, aside from that, they received some sort of Morse code saying that April, um, not, this, uh, not this Friday, the following April, April 18th. Well, that's, it, for, that's for Fortnite, April 18th. That's no. a Morse code about Fortnite. Is it? Do you think that that's yeah. what it is? <laughs> Fortnite. No, wait, whoa. no we're not so talking, we're talking about, about that. About it. <laughs> no, no, but it, it was something like that, 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 that they were going to take over. I did, yeah, I did hear about that, too. That there is some sort of, like, correlation <laughs> with uh Wait, so what is April it? There's a certain like that. date that, yeah, next what's going to happen? So what's Friday, next week, Friday. Yeah, what's going to happen? They, they, they don't they're know. Gonna it's over. just a date. Oh, so it's, like, 2012. Oh, hell yeah. But yeah, if, dude, yeah, come on, be about the time you've had that stuff happen? Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm down at this point to have someone take us over. <laughs> yeah. I just want to live through and be like, yo. Honestly. You know that, how good the Instagram post would be? Like, yes. Like Not, aliens in the background? Bro, can you imagine? Right. Here come the aliens, like, real dude. tough, trying to come at everyone, and all you see is, like, humans just trying to take a selfie with oh. them. They're like, what? why aren't you scared? Oh. Why are you mo more focused on your social Oh, no, no, 100%. If, if aliens find us first, if that's a thing, we lose that battle automatically because if they have the technology to find us, we're yeah, dead. There were, there's no well, way we're but, but, Imagine their, their mentality seeing nobody afraid of them and just taking fucking selfies with them for the Instagram. Well, just, I guess, in, in what situation where, you know, there are, there's an alien species that wants to visit our planet, why do we automatically assume that they just want to destroy it? That's, no, they don't. That, have you seen the movie Arrival? Why would yes. they? Have you watched Arrival yet? No. You need to watch Arrival tonight. That's exactly what all of Arrival is about. It's about an alien, sh alien ship's coming to our planet and like landing on our planet essentially yeah and people immediately think that they are host for the most yeah. part think they're hostile like militaries are engaged people are, like holding them at gunpoint and it's, it's up to movie. it's a fantastic movie it's one of right. Maven's favorite of all time yeah. <clears throat> um, and the whole point of the movie is us trying to understand why they're here before people basically press the doomsday button of let's just 
launch nukes at them until they leave yeah. or, or gone. Right. You need to watch that movie tonight. I will. It's, I mean, it's, it's incredible. So it's incredible. What's it called? Watch it in the Arrival. It's with, uh, what's her name? Well, one, um, Hawkeye's in it, uh, Jeremy Renner, and then uh, Amy Adams. Amy Adams. She's incredible. It's yeah. really, really beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's such a, such, a, such a good movie. Do you think that aliens are here now? Yes. The, the, people always talk about it. I mean, <clears throat> I, I, I struggle to... Here's what I'll say. I struggle to believe that we are the only existing organisms in the I'm universe. saying on Earth. Do I think that they're on Earth? Yes. Uh, maybe. Probably, look, I'm in a maybe. Ocean. They're in the ocean. They could be like... I'm in a they maybe. They literally have, they're so technologically I'm advanced that they could... What? <laughs> look, I don't, I don't struggle. Why is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, I'm at a no. Uh, wait, you oh, don't think I thought you said, I'm going to know. Like, there's not aliens. Uh, I'm going to know when there's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's uh, what you no. said. Because of awakening or something. No, no I, I don't struggle with, with uh, thinking whether or not there's people here. I know, oh, not people, but aliens. I know I know there are. You think there are? Uh, 100%. Doing what? They're just studying. We're, ant, we're an ant farm for them. They're just seeing, like... That's what I'm saying, like... I think, think it's, like, I think it's. What do you think they do though? Well, what what do, when when you play a video game, let's say Clash of Clans or something like that, or or medieval whatever, and then you have like your people, they're building stuff. You like see what the AI is doing <clears throat> on their own and what they're creating. I miss what I don't think that what I don't what I don't think that that we're ready or prepared to 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 find out is what AI imagination is. Humans for the life of us have always been creative beings, or some of us have been creative beings and created art. Music. Some uh, of us. Some of us, yeah. Creative. Unlike... <laughs> Unlike the theory. non creative <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. So, there are people... So, if we are artificial intelligence, right? And there is artificial intelligence somewhere else, what sort of art would artificial intelligence create? I, I get what you're asking. It's really, like... <coughs> I mean, you can't explain it because it's, like, not explainable. Like, when you create something, you don't really... Like for your, um, what's that shit called? Graffiti. Graffiti. Like you don't. How dare you disrespect one of the elements of hip hop? <laughs> <laughs> like you don't. Oh I don't know. You just can't explain the creative aspect. So I don't know. What would an alien creativity be? That would be. Alien, that would. Yeah. Think that, about that. That'd yeah. be really, really weird. Well, it, well, I don't. The creativity in itself is. Like you alien. can literally think of something that isn't ever been there like a unicorn with like seven tits <laughs> there it is. you can like that's never been that's never been like drawn or like that's coming. never been put into the universe until now yeah so you're the creator so what would a <laughs> what would an alien thing <laughs> maybe eight tits he's a creative genius <laughs> He's a creative genius. <laughs> you said genius this time. <laughs> you don't want to hear the last thing? Yeah, <laughs> With eight tits? eight tits. So, <laughs> just, I, I want to I, I wanna replay on that, okay? Because the second that he started speaking and said unicorn, I leaned in yeah, because you I did. knew it was coming. I knew it was Where's coming. Where's the instant replay? <laughs> and it came. Holy crap. Uh, but yeah, I just, I just think like from, from, from an artistic standpoint, you look at you look at history throughout, you look, you look at human history, you see art evolve in a certain way. And then somewhere along the lines, these subcultures within art started to be created. It, I was going to say, I just thought of what aliens might do. Like they probably like just mess with the planets. Like their solar system... Like they probably are architects with like planets. Wait, do you know about like, the, yes? Do you know about the, the the three tiers of being a civilization? Have you ever heard of that? Mm -mm. So like, we humans are considered a, a class tier one civilization where we've uh -uh. we've basically taken our our planet itself that we live on and can travel freely around it, can can have harness the energies and the power of it and things like that and all that stuff. We run it to become a tier two system. We need to be able to harness the sun's our our sun's energy. And utilize it to its fullest extent, which we haven't reached yet. In the visual I saw, it would literally be like, imagine us putting something around the sun to harness energy while it still gives off its Damn. stuff. And then being able to use that to fund our next level of civilization. A tier 3 civilization is a civilization that's taken over the full control of its own solar system Universe, or galaxy. Yeah. And yeah. can travel freely through it and be able to use it to its maximum potential. Yeah. Um, humans are considered a tier 1 system. Again, that's another one of those. You got. You can need to watch those Curse of Geist or whatever. No, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that hearing that, that's like to me the ability to just be like playing pinball with planets and blowing them up. Like, 
or doing whatever they want, that's like a tier five system. That's like something out of the scale. I, yeah. I've, I've gotten to the point of self understanding that I that I don't even kill insects anymore on purpose. Like if I see a spider, if I see an ant, a mosquito. I try to capture and release them mm. because who am I to just like, yeah. destroy that sort of life? It's it's gotten that. I don't like, do it unless they're in my room. See again, I, they've been in my room, and I've and I've and I've like instinct is like smash that shit. But then I'm like, no, I put I put it away. That's nice. Uh, if I see a spider in my room, that thing has, <laughs> has never had a greater death. <laughs> <laughs> One time there was a spider in my shower, at the scuff house, and I did one of these things. Stop. Got some, got some uh, oh, water, yeah, and then I went, <laughs> yeah. And then I thought, if I was that spider, mm. and then I looked up, and I was just like, I uh, can't imagine, because well, how much would that weigh? If I'm the spider, oh, if I'm the spider, it's, it's like even, 400 tons yeah, it's of water. It's like the whole wave. ocean. It's like, it's like yeah. a huge one of those 60-foot ocean waves just hitting you when you're, while you're at your setup in your living room. Yeah, and then <laughs> I just thought, holy shit, I'm a murderer. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah, I don't think that. So I, I, I have I, it. I, I I still do it all the time, but I I I think about how I yeah, murder ants issue. and all that stuff. I I don't. If yeah. something is alive, like like an insect, for example, like I'm not saying for a dog, but yeah. like for an insect, <laughs> and I instantly, and it's over, it just went to sleep. The insect itself, it just went to sleep. It doesn't know. Now all yeah. I'm thinking is dog. Because yeah. you should have said, yeah. Dog. Because we look, talked about uh, nice thing, yeah. killing dogs in the fly cast. Yeah, it's. We did. <laughs> no, we talked about that's not what we, bad. We talked about first. Yes. We talked about whether a, whether uh, Nick could survive if if ten uh, if ten if ten fight. different pit bulls okay. oh. attacked Nick. Not at the same time. Like one at a one time. at a time. Like every year, he, another pit bull comes up and attacks Nick at random. Mm -hmm. If he could survive all ten. Yeah, because you get better. Yeah, that's true. Never no. thought of that. I, you, no, at random one, one time a year. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. unless you're training just for it every clear, day. Pitbulls are They're awesome. Uh, exactly. Dogs. That's that's the whole point of what we were talking about. We were talking about how pitbulls are awesome dogs, and the fact that the fact is is that pitbulls have a bad rap because or bad rep because they're so big that whenever they do have that random. Are they big? That were random. Were Henry last night? Yes, Henry's just bigger. <laughs> Why is everything the always about boy. you? The biggest He's boy the biggest of them <laughs> all. Dude, that dog is. <sighs> I wouldn't know. Hector hasn't invited us over. Mm. Mm. Hector hasn't invited you us over. over. Mm. Yeah. You've been there. Once, twice, possibly. The thing is, is like, what, you guys only want to come over and use the jacuzzi. You guys don't want to come yes. over and use it. What? I want to come over and see jacuzzi with you. And also use the jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> If available. Anyway, I feel like I need to explain that before people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, obviously, dogs are all, almost every dog is nice and sweet, and then they have one little trigger where they just like, ah, I want to attack that thing. Yeah. So that's how all dogs are. But pit bulls get a bad rep because they're so big and muscular that whenever they do get that little, hey, yeah. that you that sometimes turns into, hey, I'm gonna kill that person, yeah. and then so well, then to they, them they, it's not, yeah. Yeah, they obviously don't think it's just I'm their gonna kill. Exactly, it's, just... it's their animal instinct. So then I said, "What would you do in that situation, or a pit bull?" Then it was. It you? pretty much turned into, "Do you think you could take a dog?" <laughs> and then Nick said, bull? "Yes, I could take it." I and said, I "If like, it was ah. life or death situation, I know it's like this is going I'm out to the death. There's yeah. no chance. It, it has no chance. Yeah, it's it, a it, pit bull. <laughs> no, I get it. I feel it, like you guys don't understand, like because." I probably don't understand until a pit bull is charging at you, top speed, mouth foaming. Yeah. His mouth is this big. The th He's what going will to surprise me like, will probably be like how much it like, how much force it has. Because even when like Champ Mental's dog like just jumps up and like smacks you, it's not even big, but you can still like still like moves you. Yeah. So something. The only thing I think that would surprise me would be like the weight. Yeah. Or if it's like it, it, when it dives on me, it like actually knocks me over. Yeah. But yeah. besides that, I, I feel like I could, as long as it doesn't like get my neck. I had a pit bull. Well, I didn't have it. My best friend had a pit bull in high school. Well, out of high school. His name was Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the Felix Legions, general of the Army of the North, father to a murdered husband. No, father to a murdered son. 
husband told murder wife, and he will have a vengeance in this. I literally wrote the whole That's funny. thing out as, in, his, in his documentation. Maximus, assessment. anyway, this pit bull was massive. The nicest dog ever, he passed away, rest in peace. Um, he was uh, 101 pounds. Good when Lord. he stood up, he was Mike's height. It's a four a foot. A pit bull? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the dude was the dude was massive. His head, you seen Sorry. Henry's head yesterday? Sorry, <laughs> that was so quick. Henry's Henry's um, Henry's head is massive. This, right. this dog was just like it, it, was, it was a thing of beauty. This thing they knew yeah. him too early. We didn't anyway. Um, but a, an animal like that could definitely like do some damage. Yeah. I mean, a cheetah that weighs less than that can destroy you just because the wild Ooh. animal can. You can gouge. Yeah, you're Those not people taking, that I don't cheetah. know. You're Those not people taking that are, like, maybe one out of two. Out of ten. Out of ten, dude, like you're not 50% taking one of out of two. Cheetahs, no. I'm not if you gonna panic, have. if you panic, there's no way you survive. If you understand that you're gonna feel pain and you might lose an uh, uh, an arm as it has you in its clasps, at that point you can you can so survive. You have to make yeah. a necessary sacrifice. You have to make a necessary. If, as if you Optimus panic, Prime you said in the first Transformers, a necessary sacrifice to bring peace to this planet. Great movie quote. I stopped was, watching this after Megan Fox was out. Transformers One was actually really good. Transformers Two is pretty good. The only thing, actually, the only thing I remember about Transformers 2 was Megan Fox on the m- motorcycle at the very beginning scene. So it was a pretty good movie. She's so yeah. hot. She is quite attractive. What's oh. the nerdiest thing you guys have <laughs> ever done? Because I think for me, oh, shit. for me, it might have been Transformers, me and my friend group, when we were like 14 or whatever, uh, 15. We, we like, we all named each other. After the Transformers, like people still have them in their phones named as like Iron High. Wow. Yeah, like, you I was, take the cake. Yeah, yeah. 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 You I win. Think, Next yeah. subject. Yeah. <laughs> you win this one. <laughs> that you guys, is like, the nerdiest. You've done some nerdiest shit, though. No, no. I've done some nerdiest I was going to say, say play 50 shit. hours of Hearthstone so straight. That's. What's well, this? A normal Nick weekend. <laughs> That's just a no- insert we different came. game. Yeah. Insert different game. Nick, have, right. you ever, have you ever tried to stay awake for a week straight? No. no. Why would you? I'm just asking. Oh, dude. There's For been science. times where I get, it gets to like so tired that like, have you ever anesthesia or whatever? That's the stuff that makes you go to sleep. Right? I anesthesia twice the other day. No, I know what you're saying. But, yeah, <laughs> but before I've had that, I've had that done to me and I'll like literally like sit there and be like, all right, let's see. Like I'll start counting and be like, what number can I get to before I knock out? And like I just wake up. Yeah. Like, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And it like there's times where it's literally that like I know I'm conscious, I'm like that tired to where it's like Yeah. I, like it's like, gonna be seconds till I fall asleep. Yeah, that's how I am. Like it's right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm no, saying I'm, when you hit in like the fifties, like you start I, getting I've like I've never uh, I think I, do, I have I do, hit uh, the 50s. three I do the three, seven, eight, um, Breathing exercise to fall asleep. Not anymore. Now that I have a, a weighted blanket, I literally put that thing I on. I want within one. Within seconds. <clears throat> within seconds. I told Jude this morning. I'm like, baby, I put that on, and I don't even remember falling asleep. I like one. Like huh. next thing I know, I'm watching HGTV, and then the next thing I know, it's like HGTV is elite to fall asleep to. That's all we. That's all that's I just watch Jack streams. They're my, so boring that. My my uh <laughs> my my house <laughs> plays HGTV 24/7. I, I love HGTV. House Hunters. Yeah. So good. Property Brothers, also great. Yes. Uh, what's it, what are their names? Uh, Scott, Scott and Scott Drew. Drew. Oh, and Scott then you have uh, uh, the Magnolia people that are out of Waco, Texas. Chip and Joanna. Yes, 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 yes. Fire. Anyway, wh- where are we going with this podcast? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's bring it back. Let's, uh, let's do a quick podcast topic that everybody does. All right. Uh, well, we were talking about conspiracy theories at the very beginning. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? Uh, my favorite conspiracy theory, I, I was tempted to say George Bush did 9-11, but it was just a meme. not funny. Is that even? It's not, you know, it's, uh, that's maybe mine. Is it? No, um, I was. Fucked. I guess favorite is a bad word to yeah. use. Like, what is the most intriguing? interesting? Yeah. What's intriguing. the most you've looked into? Let's just most looked into. Let's just say that my senior year of high school, I spent the entire year reading conspiracy books. Did you? The, yeah, from the Knights Templar, uh, "Behold the Pale Horse," one of my favorite ones by William Cooper. Suggest that you read it. Um, talked about everything. Talked about. Like, one of the things that I'm waiting for still to this day to see if it materializes, to see if it was right, is, um, you know, from a, from an e- economic standpoint, obviously, Euro, Europe has the, the Euro, uh, and then they were going to have, uh, the Americas have the Amero. So an entire continent have, like, uh, from, from you know, Argentina all the way up to uh, to Canada have the, the Amero uh, be the 
the global currency. Yeah, and then moving to a cashless society, little by little, we're we're getting there, right? With, uh, you know, even even credit cards are going away because you're paying with your phone. So those are the. I was super into. You literally showed that off yesterday. Yes. Yeah, Look how cool this is. I was like, okay. What about you, Jack? I don't know if I have a most a, intriguing most intriguing conspiracy. I'm trying to think. I uh, wish I had I, more time. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the one that uh, I t- I say this all the time because. Um, one of, like my one of my best friends, Blake. You guys pretty much all know him. Yeah. He's very, you know, very conservative, straight to the point. Like he's he doesn't really bullshit around anything, and uh, he's not really scared of anything. Like as far as information wise, like he doesn't. I don't know. But that being said, this is why it really surprised me. He said uh, that for one of his classes in college, they were supposed to write a paper on conspiracy theories. He look he chose just out of random. He was like, all right, I'm going to do Sandy Hook. And he got so far into it and so many details that he was like, like overthinking that he was like, I can't even write about this. I don't even want to write about it because he like started to believe it so much. And so he he just asked his professor if he could pick a new one. Is that good though? If Blake was a real hero, wouldn't he have figured it out? The thing is that he started to figure it out. There are people that got scared. There are people that have like dedicated, they're like dedicating their lives to try to prove that whatever the conspiracy is like. Is right. Earth conspiracy? The guy who launched himself in that rocket to like prove the Earth was flat the other day. What? Did you see that? No. The guy made like a after like seven or whatever failed attempts, he made like a homemade like rocket and launched himself like twelve hundred feet to prove that like the Earth was flat or something. I don't think anything ever came of it. People just laughed at him. The footage is. is Wait, did he? Survive? Yeah, he, all he did was like hurt his back. No, he flew. He, he fell back down. Back? He fell back down on uh, with like a para, It was like parachuted. It was like this little. It was like the smart car of rockets. And so it was like launching like a Could you just derby fly? car. So is that mission failed? I, I don't know. I didn't. All, the last <laughs> update I saw was him getting lifted out of the, the little plane he made, and he's just going, "I hurt my back." I hurt my back. <laughs> that was literally the last clip I saw. I was like, "I don't wow. really understand the whole <clears throat> flat Earth thing." Yeah, me either. Have you ever seen like the joke photo of it? It's just literally like this huge flat Earth, and then we have like a cone underneath us of like. Yeah, I've seen of, it. Of, 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 have like, you ever seen? A, you haven't seen a picture of flat Earth? No. Weird. It's like a, yeah, it's just flat and then a cone. Yeah, that's how people think. Like a floating flat, and then the dirt and shit just under. There's just so many. um, What? what The the other one that I that I'm that I'm curious about is uh, like the conspiracy of Bigfoot, whether or not it exists or not. Of Bitcoin? I gave up on Bigfoot. Bigfoot. You want to know a crazy fact? Um, You've seen one. No. That would be crazier than my fact now. Okay. So no, I, I don't want to bring it up. Now <laughs> this sucks. But have you ever heard the show Finding Bigfoot? The yeah. show that was like out a long time ago. Yeah, uh-huh. it's still out, it's still making episodes every single week. Well, they Who's watching them? that? Because <laughs> they haven't okay. found them. I, watch, the I watch it every so often. Uh, <laughs> I seen I seen when Justine and and, uh, and Jenna were out looking for. Bigfoot. I'll watch that. What? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I don't say I'll watch that in a sexual way. I'm uh, just a fan of them. Okay, so nobody said it. We just looked anyway. No, Everyone's okay. thinking it. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Everyone is thinking that. Anyway, that no, no, so I, get it. I get it. So, so yeah, I, 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 do you, do you think it exists? Bigfoot? Yeah. No. I don't think the missing so. link. Well, the the most. He's trash, anyways. What's Bigfoot doing? <laughs> Like he's not important. <laughs> like he is a trash. Like, fine. There's just wait, well, wait, wait, the Loch Ness monster's cool. Than that's me. cool. Wait, so whoa, whoa, whoa. they're they're both cool equally. No, because they're undiscovered species. Bigfoot's stupid. How? Because Bigfoot's like a it's big dumb real. dog. <laughs> There's no such thing as a dumb it's like, dog. It's like Bigfoot, Bigfoot, the biggest dog. boy of them all. <laughs> See the only. <laughs> Imagine Hector's got Bigfoot. It is. It is. I, this is what I would believe. Bigfoot, the amount of the, the amount of animals that Hector's Hector's family Jude's has. Just, Jude's get, Jude just gets a Bigfoot. <laughs> you can find one. I'm they're sure. like, they're hiding the it. Background, like, <laughs> like heavily breathing. <laughs> Who's the biggest boy? <laughs> <laughs> the only way, <laughs> the only way that Bigfoot is real is if somebody is actively hiding him because. Is, is it even a him or is it a population of big feet? And how long has he been alive? <laughs> yeah, that too. That's well, what I'm saying. Like, like, tail, does he have kids? They live, they live in underground caves. Who does, it's not, who does it's Bigfoot not have intercourse with? Other, Other big feet. 
Well, dude, wait, dude. Big, Bigfoot's not a person; it's a species. Yes. That's what he's saying. Because they found Big... all up the Appalachians. Did you know that there was like five classes of human, or like families of human, or whatever? No, Jack. I don't see color. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> However, however many thousands of years ago, millions of years ago, that apparently, and I just found out about this, and uh, I need to hear more info on it, but there was like five classes of human, and obviously us and the Neanderthals and whatever, the other ones that are even like lesser, but we just like killed them all off to become the one alpha class. Yeah. Like the, 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 the reason why we're here is because the other types of human that were like, oh, they're a little bit different, they're a little bit different, we just killed them all. Yeah. So you don't think we were a Neanderthal? No, apparently, like, the Neanderthal was like a, we, we like... We were like a part of them and evolved, and then we were like they're lesser, killed them. Well, all. I mean that's just gonna be <laughs> that's just gonna be how it goes yeah. as a human. Yep. As it's just as gonna an be animal, well, yeah. Well, just being on the planet, happen, we'll just be survival of the fittest. So what you're saying is that from as as we evolve as humans, let's say the next generation of our evolution, which happens in a hundred years, let's say they have bigger heads, no ears, small noses, no mouths. Well, it wouldn't be a hundred years. Like a thousand. Okay, years. fine. Whatever. I think I think it happens in hundred hundred years with AI. I think there's a better chance of AI being like killing let's humans. Let's kill them all. That's what Westworld season two coming out. Yeah. I that's can't what, wait, dude. Westworld season one. That's like I just watched a whole recap on it, but that's essentially the whole core of the show is dude the robots. I love that show. Getting so to much. understand that they have, uh, finding their own consciousness to then the, the, make their own decisions. The, again, as soon as I've she, first, I yeah. think the first season, so the so end good. of the first episode of Westworld. Well, we watched it together, and I remember the very like, first when we episode. Seth. That was like the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth showed me. Yeah, the very, I watched very it with first. Seth and his mom. Weirdly enough. What? <laughs> when? Oh, where? At Seth's house when we took that oh. twelve-hour road trip. Oh, yeah. and that then was the uh, hex six was never the same. <laughs> never. <laughs> that was uh, same. but yeah, the moment at the end of the first episode is like one of those moments in TV. Like every show has that where it's like, for example, Game of Thrones when. Yep, the, the fire episode, scene. Well, that was the end of season one, but even the episode before that when someone gets the. the yeah. Oh yeah yeah okay, um, okay. That's one of those moments of the show where you go. See, I don't even. Th- I I think wow. the fire scene. That show. That scene is kind of like. <laughs> Is a thing to me. The did you guys watch House of Cards? Yes. Mm-hmm. No. The uh, the subway scene in that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Did you guys watch almost. Dexter? Yes. No. I didn't watch Dexter. The bathroom scene in Dexter. Yes. Like, uh, I, I, all of those scenes. Every are... other episode of Breaking Bad had those scenes. Mm. Yeah. I don't even know if Breaking, the, no, oh, Breaking Bad. Oh, I don't the, know if it was uh, because you were preconditioned to expect it every single episode. The only thing that got me in in Breaking Bad was Hector Salamanca. Yes, Hector. Mm. Don't connect, connector. So good. I'm trying man. to remember. Come on. So good, dude. Did you guys know the the name the name of that episode <laughs> is called uh, Face Off? Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Face Off. Oh, really? Between like yeah, yeah, between yeah. the two, and then also the yeah face. Yeah. yeah. I, I, because I was rewatching it. I went through all of Breaking Bad and rewatched it, I do it. and I got Damn. to that episode and I saw that it was called Face Off, and I was just like, "Another one's the, ba- the bathroom scene where he opens the book and realizes it." And oh it my together. god, yes! And that's that you know what's wild. It, I need to rewatch it, it, that. It's yeah, so see, good. Rewatching shows. What's the show that you rewatch that that you like are okay with rewatching? Because I mean, still for me, without a your... doubt, it's Game of Thrones. Okay, same. But but uh, there's this culture around watching and rewatching and rewatching and rewatching The Office. And, I was about to say. Yeah. And I can't. I, I have. I've never been able to do it. I watched The Office all the way through. Loved it. One of my favorite shows of all time. One hundred percent. And I can't just. I, I just can't bring myself to rewatching it. And every person that I talked to, I even threw a poll on Twitter about rewatching. And if you guys are watching, if you yes or no, whether or not you've rewatched The Office in the comments. But <clears throat> for me, it's been like one of those those episodes where you just like I, you just can't do it. When I went to the Gary Vee thing in New York, and there was like all these other entrepreneurs that were sitting there, the topic conversation came up, and I'm like, D- "The Office, do you guys rewatch it?" And then they're like, "Yeah," over and over and over again. And I'm just like, "Why am I the only weirdo?" That I mean- feel like Office <clears throat> is that TV show to rewatch, though. Everyone rewatches The Office, the Office. and Friends. I would Friends, say Friends, Seinfeld. There are these staple. I think The Office is developed. Into becoming a part of that echelon of just it's, shows you rewatch, yeah. like Friends, like yeah. Seinfeld. It's, like, it's, it's, it's our it's, generation's Friends. Yes, 
in, in my opinion. And what I think, the reason why I find so much rewatch value in it, well, for a lot of people, it's comforting. It's easy, it's an easy watch. It's comedy. It's comedy. It is pure comedy. I, think, I like, feel like that ha- only happens with comedy shows, yeah. like Seinfeld, exactly. Friends. Yeah. Well, light Office. lighthearted shows. Yeah. Things that just make you feel good are easy yeah. to fall asleep to. Like I fall asleep to episodes of The Office, and I'll, so, I won't be like, oh, I'm sad I didn't finish that episode. You know? Yeah. Um, but what other thing that makes me love it is that every person in that office, like you go back and watch it again, and you'll notice something you missed. And people say that, dude. But if you watch The Office. And like an episode like The Injury when Michael cooks his foot in season two. Yeah. If you watch that again and see how people just react to the scenarios. Like when they bring out the water bottle and and instead of you watching him get spritzed, you watch the facial expression on the person spritzing it with the water bottle. It becomes funnier again. It yeah. Re, it's... It, it like the moment when, when, when Michael's calling for help and he's like, send, <laughs> se, uh, uh, what's the temp's name? Ryan. Ryan. Send Ryan. And you see Ryan just go, like, he's from sat normal to go, yeah. like that, rewatch it again and yeah, re-experiencing yeah. that, like, it gets so funny every I've, time I you think watch I've watched over over. season three of The Office probably 12 times. Yeah, I've, now, I've only rewatched, really? I've only rewatched yeah. like three or four times, but. Well, just that season. I've, I've, re- I've watched all the way through probably three times. Never, dude. But I don't think I've ever rewatched anything. Season three, I think, was the peak. See, the, I, I told myself I need to rewatch shows. Like, it's been so long since Lost. If I were to rewatch Lost Dude. right now, I could tell you right now that it would be like me watching a brand new show. And I've seen it all. I've seen it all too. And, I've and, only and, seen and, one TV show. I, I'm watching yeah, Lost. Breaking Bad. <laughs> I'm watching Lost in like in my in my twilight years. I'm I'm gonna wait that long to rewatch it. Yeah. Uh, because I, I just like I know everything about it. It I was even... one of my favorite. I, I, it was the first podcast I've ever listened to. The the conspiracy behind uh, Lost. Lost like, yeah. Every single like. The dissecting the episode and all that stuff, like I, I remember so the good, first time. Dude. That was my first interaction with a podcast, right? So that's why I have this like affinity for podcasts because I'm like, why am I sitting here listening to these people I've never met, or why do I care about their their opinion or anything? And it's just like this sort of relation that we had through through this thing that just made me such a big fan of it, and in turn made me a big fan of podcasts as a whole. Was yeah, Lost the first Game of Thrones? No. What was? The first Game of Thrones was like what was the first drama that had everybody on their that like took over the planet? Breaking Bad. No, what? No. Sopranos. <laughs> that's the Sopranos. only thing. Oh, Sopranos. Yeah, probably. Freaking uh, like a show that for me like what's a show that you just couldn't just died out on you? For me, it's Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I'll never, I'll never. That's a, that's a yeah. show that I'll never watch back either. Like I don't think I'll ever go back. I, I stopped mid season. Yeah. Uh, no, Same. Uh, you know the it, it peaked. It peaked when the Spoiler. Yeah. It peaked. Five, four, three, two. It peaked when uh, when that little girl came out of the uh, out of the barn and then Rick like blasted her. That was that was like first that was, season, right? That was second season. It was one of the best moments I think in all TV, TV history. That when when Shane goes, why is he still coming? And he's going pop pop, and, he, and he's shooting because that's when they realize like the people who they had just met, like Herschel and that family who were. Uh, had never had to deal with the zombies because they were on their little safe little fortress. Yeah, yeah. Why is he still coming? Pop, pop. And and Rick keeps going. That's enough. That's enough. And Shane goes, Yeah, that is enough. And fucking pumps him one more time in the head and kills him. Yeah. And it goes slow mo. I don't even remember I get chills that. thinking of that yeah. shit because like because then they open the barn and they let all the zombies out and like then they all have to find like there's like five episodes of no shooting and they just light them all up and then the I last thing is that. the last thing is Sophia. Yeah. Walking out of the barn, and we just Such spent the last seven episodes show. waiting for them to oh, find this girl. Yeah. You know which one else died out for me? Heroes. Dude, Heroes was such I didn't an watch amazing that either, show. The first, the first season of Heroes is unbelievable. Isn't that with Hayden Panettiere, the yeah. girl? Yeah. But but it it, it end, look look the, the problem there was that the writer strike happened. Yeah. And that's what killed it. It killed save it. Save the cheerleader. Save, I, I, yes. when I used to be oh, a Save the cheerleader. Save the world. When I used to oh be a Oh my them, god! I forgot I, about I, that. Uh, shit. I, I, I painted something. I'm not gonna say what, but I put as one of the quotes, "Save the cheerleader," and then the other side is like, "Save the world" in like bubble letters. It's like, are uh, you doing it on City like, Hall? It's like, no. <laughs> it's not a moving object. The uh, <laughs> what you call it? Another show that there was a show that uh, that I really thought had a lot of potential, but nothing came of it. That was like uh, Rome. No, it was, like, it, it was like two minutes or whatever, or, or, or something, split second or something. HBO. Essentially. Revolution. No, no, no. It was a show yeah. where everyone Entourage. in the world, everyone in the that world, everyone in the world blacked out for two minutes or whatever it was. And and only certain people, it was all manipulated by someone. It only was one season. And I think the writer's strike happened and it, it never followed through. The, but essentially. The 100? No, 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 no. It was like, it was literally only one season. It was basically, the story behind it was, 
a person found out how to how to remove con- like to knock everybody out by something. Yeah. Right. And they they were in the show. They realized that there was a moment that happened years prior out in a, on a random desert where all these crows had crashed the ground because they figured out people were figuring out how to do it. And in those two minutes, the people who caused the event did these certain things that could alter the future. And because in those two minutes, everyone passed out, like planes crashed, for example, like the vice president in the show was on Air Force One or whatever, and it crashed and he died it died, and it died in it, and pe- all, all this stuff happened. And like in that two minutes, you had a vision of a moment of a time. It was all, everyone had a vision of the moment on April 10th at 4.32 p.m., and certain people had, it was black, and did that mean that you were dead or you were asleep? Other people saw this guy, the main character saw himself who wasn't a drinker, was drinking and was like getting hunted by these guys with lasers outside because he was the one trying to figure out what the story was of these two minutes and they were like closing in on him. And like, it was wild, but it yeah. went away after one season, but it was so sick because it was like everyone had this vision. Yeah. Um, that's, that's HBO's like, that MO. sounds oh, crazy. Away. HBO is the worst at, ki- at killing off good shows, dude. Rome, three, two seasons. My parents love that. Deadwood, show. two seasons. How to Make It in America. Two seasons. I mean, I can go on and on and on. And I'm talking about legit, like, incredible shows. How to Make an America, one of my favorite entrepreneurial yeah. shows ever. Rome, one of the best political TV shows that has ever been created. Deadwood, one of the most <laughs> beautifully composed scenarios and, 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 like, monologues that has ever existed. Al Swearingen, my spirit animal. Dude. Ooh. HBO, why? Yeah. They're making a movie. But they have some dude. bangers. They have a lot of good, damn good shows, too. Yeah. What's your favorite movie of all time, Jack? It's still Inception. Inception? Yeah. What's your favorite comedy of all time? Grandma's Boy. I struggle more with comedies because I don't, I don't go for, like, I need to watch this comedy. Yeah. I'd rather watch something that gets me thinking, like Interstellar. Or Rival, like, Arrival's Same. a big thinking movie. It's like the only movies I do like to yeah. watch are, like, the... I still haven't watched don't ex- I, I don't expect this, and it's like crazy I'm out of the box. Type. I either want a good movie, a, 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 a good thinker movie, or a movie that like is like a feel good type, good message behind it. Like I just watched that. Uh, what was the movie with Hugh Jackman, the singing one, that just came out? Um, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. God, why? It's about the play Logan? with Zendaya and 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 Zac Efron. Angels in the Outfield. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Logan. No, it's not Logan. No, I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of oh, The Greatest Showman. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Was it? Oh, yeah. is that about uh, uh, Ripley's Believe? Ripley's, uh, no, no. no. Uh, uh, Grace, Barnum and Bailey. Barnum and Bailey. Really Speaking exactly. of good TV shows, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh God. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> no, Cops. Cops is one of the best TV shows. I was sweating. Oh, yeah. Why are you sweating? Yeah. I was watching Cops. <laughs> cops at its at its core is just like really? think of how many shows have built off of cops. Like they've done it in so many ways because of just how successful the cops way of doing things was. I missed that they bent it. Hey, hey. You, yeah, you know a show's been around for a while when you go and you'll see cops on, you'll scroll it and be like, This m- might be from two thousand two. Yeah. Right? You can <laughs> yeah. tell those episodes. You're yeah. like, it's not even in the right like H D. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're here in Las Vegas, people on the strip. What's it is still movie? just like What's your favorite movie all what time. You want? Old the boy. Matrix. Oh, I thought it was Old Boy. Old Boy is up there. Old Damn, boy? I would have missed Bro, that. If old Boy this is was... good. Is that the one where Old Stop? <laughs> when the when the dude like gets kidnapped. And kidnapped in a hotel, <laughs> okay. basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you. That's a good watch. Old Boy. It is dope. Which one? The because the original is a foreign language. No, no the the, the new one, one yeah. is American. Yeah. That's the one I watch. Yeah. And it's good. Really good. It's, it's with that. It's if you like. You, you, I, I doubt that. <laughs> wait, what? I don't think anyone assumed you watched the foreign language <laughs> version of Old well, Boy. A lot of times I'll s- s- mention something about Old Boy and people will be like, you gotta watch the original. Like people like bandwagon for the original. So. But just watch the, yeah, watch the like, American it's like, it's one. It's like uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah. You would like it. If you like. Or Freaky Friday. Nope. Suspenseful type. What's your favorite movie of all time? <laughs> but The Matrix. Which one? Number one, one or two? Or the trilogy? First, the first one. Yeah, the first one. I like the first one. That's a simulation in its best, man. Yeah. Getting, literally getting out of the Matrix. Yeah. Um, uh, mine's the, uh, a little... Mine's not as cool. I remember the Titans. Always been my favorite. Really good. Always been my favorite movie. Uh, Snatch. Oh, I've done that. Well, What's the actor's name again that you love? Wait, what's Snatch? Which one? What, the, the the guy who was in had just done King Arthur or whatever. 
Oh, no, he's not in the movie. Oh, he's not in the movie? I thought he was in the movie. No, his name is uh, Charlie Hunnam. Also also what known as... Uh, yes, yeah, Charlie Hunnam? Charlie Hunnam is in, in King Arthur. He's also no. Jackson Teller from... Uh, it's not the name I'm thinking of. This is a different one that you love. It's a bigger actor name. Hugh you, Jackman. You talk about him in World of Beer. Like, you were all you love him so much. <laughs> What's his name? Guy Ritchie? Is this Guy Ritchie. Ritchie. Well, he's a director. No, was it Guy Ritchie? I don't know. Why, why, are, you guys, why, why are you laughing at Hugh Jackman? Because <laughs> you're like the actor you love, and Nick goes, Hugh Jackman. No, no, that's, been Nick, that's, been, that's been Nick's theme of today's episode. Where he just spurts out random things. You're about, break, breaking bad. He spurts well, out TV shows, I have nothing to input. Yeah. Because I've I, seen I, I one. I can't believe you don't like TV shows. What's like, your favorite TV show? It drives me crazy. Uh, at this point, Game of Thrones has taken yeah, over. You'd have but, to. but if Westworld continues on the path it is, then Westworld, I think, will become my favorite of all time. And you, Nick? No show. My favorite show ever would be Breaking Bad, but that's like the only one I've really seen. I've I've like I tried to watch Game of Thrones. I've tried to watch like every big TV show. I just never got into it. I still think I tried to get him into uh, Mr. Robot. Have either of you guys watched Mr. Yeah, Robot? Yeah, I've watched. Why? Watch season one. I don't like um, Christian Bailey. What's his name? Christian. Yeah, I know you're talking about the, yeah. the, the dad. The dad in the show. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. One of them. The father. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't, like, I don't know why, and I apologize, bro. I don't know uh, why. Chris, Christian Slater? Yes, yeah, Slater. I think I remember you tweeting at him and saying, hey, man, I don't like you, and I don't know why. No, I never. I would never. <laughs> no, that's bullshit. I would never. Alternate universe. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, full circle. What's the name of that? Uh, that, like, thing where you think that it's happened so vividly, but it, it uh, didn't ever happen. Deja vu? No, that kind of. A premonition? No, it's the Mandela effect. Mandela effect. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Because. You think, think it's happened, but it hasn't? Well, because the whole thing is like Nelson Mandela is mm-hmm. uh, in alive right now. And so many people in the world. Wait, no, or no, no, not, not alive right now, but he was alive for a lot longer than people thought he was yes. because people everybody. Was just, people just assumed he exactly, was dead. Exactly. Everybody assumed that he, was, yeah. he had died. And, that's, and, and the thing is, is how, how, how is it possible that so, so many, many people, people yeah. think yes. that? Just like, you know, there's, there's like a bunch of uh, other... The Berenstein Bears is another one. Exactly. Where people thought it was spelled with an E, but it's spelled with, actually spelled with an A. So it's like Berenstain. But yeah. everyone, everyone remembers it being spelled with an E. Yeah. So Berenstain Bears is actually the name of it. Just like uh, Luke, I am your father is the, is the quote that everybody remembers from Star Wars when he doesn't say that. Get out of here. Darth Vader never says, Luke, I am your father. Shut the fuck up. No way. It doesn't. Everything is a lie. I I, I can't attest that because I've I've never seen all the Star Wars. Oh, yeah. You're weird. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's true. Let's not not get into it. Let's not get into it. Because he literally, like... No, it's... I I can say this with full confidence. Star Wars is the most overrated movie franchise of all time. 100% is. Uh, how can you say that when you that literally hurt just me said... and I don't give a? F- <laughs> how can it you is, say that when you literally just, just said, said you never, never watched it? it? No, no, I, I have no. I've literally tried to watch all of them. I literally have tr- given it's an effort possible. to watch all of them. It's like Game of Thrones. But it's just, yeah, it's just, it is, it is, it truly is. Mm-hmm. I get, I get why it has a following, right? It's got a great story and a universe and everything. Wait, so does it have a great story or not? It's, is it overrated or not? I don't know it's, it's anymore. Extreme, it's, it's if he overrated. never said that line. Star Wars. I don't want to. Bro, what, that, he never said that line for real. Every. I'm mind blown if he has. I'm mind blown. Harry, if it's Harry true. Potter is better than. Star I don't. Wars. That's not true. The Harry, Harry Potter is a good movie. I mean, I don't think you could even put him in the same. The Marvel. Oh, the okay, Marvel universe. Just... The Marvel. The Marvel movies. Don't do are, fucking are, say are it. actually so much better than Star Wars movies, and it's not even fair. The, Dude, the experience who, and enjoyment you get from a Marvel movie. Idea was it to pick him up? Oh, over you, over yours. over a Star Wars movie. It's not even funny. I don't know. I I, I, I respect your opinion. I don't I at all. Not even one percent of me I, respects. I I'm actually losing respect for you as a person. That's, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm just stating my fact. God, I'm, it's, it's not I can't opinion, wait. I actually can't wait to get home so I can unsub to you. Like that's how fast. Oh, come on, actually, I'll take that back. Star Wars is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, don't, don't, don't mess. If you're watching and you switch on my channel, please don't untwitch Prime. <laughs> Yeah, don't on Twitch Prime Jack. Anyway, we're going to end it right here. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. If you guys have questions, leave them down below. If you guys have topics that you guys would like for us to discuss, uh, the, the crack team back there with the amazing production is going to pick a couple of them, and he's going to throw them out there in the middle of next week's podcast. Uh, and, yeah, that's that. Closing comments, gents? 
this was fun. I, love I, I had a stuff. great. I think time. I just saw two friends. I had a great time up until each forty-five other. seconds ago. It was a great experience. This will be my last podcast. Wow, we really do have soft hands. We Break. Do. We'll see you on the next one. Leave a like.